Lee, Isaac Chung, you are amazing. What is up guys, I'm Xavier aka The Film Zane, welcome back to the channel. Now, as promised from yesterday's Judas and Black Messiah review, I have another banger for you guys. Just a couple hours ago, I came from my first time watching Minari, um, A24 film directed by Lee Isaac Chung. It stars Stephen Yun, uh, Lee Jung Yoon, and so many great members or great um, cast. This this film is basically just stacked with incredible acting performances. Um, so before I get to the actual review of the film, I want to get you guys in the right like headspace as far as like how I um, watched Minari. So. The theater that I went to around my area, um, it's always packed. This is like pre-COVID, so pre-all this mask wearing and whatnot. The, it, this theater was always like packed 24-7, no matter what time of day it was. This was like our hot spot. And then COVID hit. And then just recently, maybe like two months ago, a new company bought the theater. So then I went to it. This is my first time going as like the new theater, you can say. And it was completely dead there may be like three other people there that was like seeing films with me um but i got my tickets from minari and i realized that i was the only person who bought tickets which makes sense because minari is not, not, not like a, a big mainstream film my experience watching minari was very similar to when i saw tenet in theaters now this is way back in august so i haven't been to the movies in quite a long time um but like minari i was by myself Nobody was around me. Nobody was in the theater with me. It was just me and the screen. And something about me by myself watching something on a big screen really impacts me in a different way when it comes to film. And this is what exactly happened with Minari. So Minari is about a Korean family who moves from um, California to um, Arkansas. And the reason why is that the dad, Stephen Young, who is our co-lead in this um wants to follow his true dream of building or making or just like producing a farm of his own to sell different crops and vegetables when the, the different buyers instead of working like a, a factory job. Um, the mom works a factory job. She does um, stuff with chickens. Um, and yeah, um, he's just trying to make a better life for him and his family, aka the American dream, which is a very common theme in this whole entire film. So first off, I just want to say that Lee Isaac Chung, you are incredible. The way that he was able to craft this film was just like crazy to me because it's a great mix, a mix of um, the naturalism between dialogue and whatnot, a fantastic screenplay, phenomenal editing and cinematography, great acting, no, fantastic acting all around. It's just crazy to me what he's able to do with this film and I hope it's nominated for the Oscar um, also stay tuned for the Oscar predictions coming up very soon on the channel I waited till after I saw Judas and Minari to lock them in for a lot of categories so that will be our, my next video you guys will get that video in, within the next two days so stay tuned for that so back to Minari Lee yeah, Chung you are a great secondly I just have to say the score in this film is incredible the first notes I heard from the score we opened to this like great shot of the, the kid our boy David our, our co-lead in this and the music plays and you just the, the tone just is like set immediately and it's it's wonderful the score is just my opinion the best part of this film it is great I was actually listening on the on the car ride back home on repeat on my Bluetooth in my car, and it's just a phenomenal score. Um, it's just fantastic. Now we also have the acting in the film Minari, um, which is great. Um, it just got SAG Ensemble nomination, so that's fantastic, and I see why it's definitely, um, definitely well deserved. We have Stephen Yun. We have Yijun Yoon, we have Alan Kim, we have Han Yurei. There are so many fantastic, um, fantastic, I don't know what I'm doing with these arm things. I'm just really excited for this review. But anyway, we have so many great uh, performances in the film that really make it 
how it is and how it should be. Um, now, as far as the actual filmmaking side of this film, it is also incredible. Not only the cinematography in this film is great, it has a nice balance between like the, um, sh the shaky slash uncomfortable um, shots or whatever cinematography. We have some gorgeous still shots um, that were portrayed in this film, and it just it's just a pretty film overall to look at. Now, as far as like flaws with Minari, there are some parts that um, there are some parts that kind of are are slow burn, but like not too many parts. There's some stuff in the middle that can't that could have been cut out to make it a bit shorter, but it still adds the personality to the characters, which I did I, I did still enjoy. This review is spoiler free, by the way, but just to let you guys know, I'm going to say a little quote or something along the lines of a quote that, you know, the grandma, a young news character says, which basically explains the whole entire movie. She basically is saying that Minari is a plant and it grows like weeds and anybody can get it. Anybody can like obtain it, rich or poor. It, it's universal. It can be used in medicine and food. What I thought is the opportunity that everybody could have or... People, if you put your mind to it, your or your dedication to it, the the um the concept of the American dream, and what it means to be a, a true American as far as like being, especially being from like a foreign country outside the United States and making making a living, making your your family proud of you, and that's really exhibited throughout the whole entire film, mainly with Steve Begin's character. Um, you also see how he kind of like code switches in a way. Where he talks to his family differently than those who like people around him or Arkansas. There's also some very kind of like awkward and weird moments where they're in like a church setting environment, and also people around him. They're still kind of awkward, but it makes sense though because they're not used to the environment, and it's definitely a big cultural shock that is exhibited throughout the whole entire film. Now, as far as Oscars go, this is definitely a very Oscar baity movie. I think it's definitely going to get best film. Or um, nomination for best film, not the window. Um, it's a lock in my opinion for a nomination. Hopefully, we get best director from Lee Isaac Chung. I think it's gonna be right behind Chloe Zhao, um, Fincher, Sorkin, Emerald Fennell, and he's gonna be that number five spot right there. So I hope, hopefully, he gets a nomination. Uh, we can also see Stephen Yun, who just got the SAG, I believe, a couple of, um, like last week, nomination for best actor. But he's hopefully see um, Lee Jung Yun get supporting actress for her her um her role in this film we also uh, hopefully we can get score see what that happens maybe even the original screenplay that's really a tight category we can also see cinematography hopefully and maybe even editing this film is gorgeously edited in my opinion when the best of the year when it comes to editing and this film is just overall great on all scales of filmmaking and acting in general. Minari is gonna get a solid nine out of 10 for me. So if you guys saw it, what's your thoughts on Minari? Me personally, I love the film. Definitely my top three of this award season. Um, definitely Soul, we have um, Update of Anything, so now we have Minari at the number three spot. So this film, like I said, is great, very naturalistic. Cinematography is fantastic and of course, or a positive, it's A24. You can't go wrong with a good A24 film. Yeah, that's it for me. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great one.